Welcome to 100 Yards Football this morning. I'm your host, Vincent Turner. Today we got a special treat. It's, I'm going to talk a little college basketball since we got the college basketball season going on right now. It started a couple of weeks ago. And tonight is some of the first where I'm resident at here in Douglasville, Georgia, which is about an hour and I say 15 minutes from Athens, Georgia. The University of Memphis ranked 18th in the country. We're playing the Georgia Bulldogs. So I will have my interest over there at 7.15 Eastern Standard Time tonight. But today, with my college basketball special, I'm going to talk about the greatest coach, the coach in the NCAA. And it's no question about it. His name is John Wooden. UCLA, baby. So if you like the video today, please come in and share it. We surely appreciate it here at 100 Yards of Football. When you talk college basketball, it always should be one word mentioned. Not Dean Smith, not Mike Krzyzewski, not Mr. Naismith that invented basketball, not the programs such as Kentucky, Duke, even where I'm from, the University of Memphis. And in my 61 years, I love this game of college basketball simply because what I grew up in in the 60s. In my lifetime, it's coming from a little man out of Memphis, Tennessee, up to being a young man going to the University of Arkansas. But college basketball is all about that man you see on the screen, John Wooden. Man, man, man. Greatness is something that can't be described. It's uncontrollable. It's magnificent. And John Wooden, when he went out there in 1948, left Indiana State University and went out there to Hollywood, he turned the basketball program upside down because it was all about UCLA. But the thing that really impressed me about Coach Wooden is that he was a three-time consensus All-American at Purdue in the 30s. He only scored 475 career points but it was the way that his career went. And one thing he did is that he got a job at Indiana State in the 40s. That was a Division II school. He took them to the NIA tournament twice. But the first year, he didn't take his team because back in 1947, the in 1946, the NIAA, said that we didn't accept African-American players. And, you know, Coach Wood stood up and said, hey, you know what? If my player, Mr. Clarence Walker, can't participate in that tournament, we're going we gonna to boycott. Then he comes back the next year, and they make the tournament. See, people don't even know that bit of history about John Wood. Think about that. 1946. He was coaching Indian. They wouldn't allow him to be in the tournament because he had an African-American player. But at that time, he stood up for Clarence Walker. You say I lay in the house. But think about this. Mr. Wooden was a fantastic player. Let me go back. He was a three-time consensus All-American at Purdue from 1930 to 1932. But he knew that playing at the next level professional going on was not his calling. It was coaching. Then he went out to UCLA, 1948. Everything changed. It took him some years. I think it took him 13, 14 years to get that program going. But boy, did he make a sound. Think about his accolades. Unbelievable. 620 games he won. 147 losses. He went 149-2 and two at Poly Pavilion. 19 conference titles. 88 game winning streak. Six-time national coach of the year. Four perfect 30-0 seasons. 38 straight NCAA tournament appearances. 38 straight the only 
person to be voted in a college basketball hall of fame as a player and a coach. I'm sorry. It's no one has done it better. This man is the epitome of college basketball. And then think about this. He won 10 national championships in 12 years. From 1964 to 1975. But it, it was three principles that I like about Coach Wooden. That kind of dictates how your life is going to go. One thing that he believed in was conditioning of his team. Never be outworked. Never be outworked. Boy, boy, boy. The second principle I loved about Coach Wooden, unselfishness. Play your role. From assistant coaches, to trainers, to managers, to media people, everybody has to play their role. And don't worry about who gets the credit. That's what built champions. Then a peace of mind, the satisfaction knowing that you gave it your all. The satisfaction knowing that you gave it your all. And training. You practice well, you play well. As Ronnie Keebler tells me, the business partner here, 100 yards of football. You put the work in, it's second nature. John Wooden, one more time. You practice well, you play well. And teaching. The best thing when you're walking and you're building a basketball team or everything you're doing in life is through repetition. Rep repetition. Excuse me. Through repetition. Going over it again, 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 again. Till you get it down. And you do all those old principles I just mentioned. You can work under pressure. John Wooden was special, man. Ten national championships in 12 years. And then, just what happens. 1964, UCLA 98, Duke 93. Kenny Washington, 26 points. Gail Goodrich, 27. They beat the Duke team that had Jeff Mullins. 1965, UCLA, 91. Michigan, 80. Gail Goodrich, 42 points. Kenny Washington, 25. Cassie Russell for Michigan had 28. 1967, UCLA, 79. Dayton, 64. Lou Alcindor had 20 points. Lucius Allen, 19. Mike Warren. Hill Street Blues, 17 points. 1968, UCLA, 78. North Carolina, 54. Lou Alcindor, 34. Mike Warren, Hill Street Blues, 11 points. Larry Miller, 14. 1969, UCLA, 92. Purdue, 72. Lou Alcindor, 37. Curtis Rowe, 12. John Valley, 15. Rick Mount, 28. 1970, UCLA, 80, Jacksonville, 69, Sidney Wick, 17, Curtis Rowe, 19, Steve Patterson, 17, Artis Gilmore, 19 points for Jacksonville. 1971, UCLA, 68, Villanova, 62, Steve Patterson, 29, Henry Bippy, senior, 17. In 1972, UCLA 81, Florida State 72, Keith Wilkes 23, Bill Walton 24, Henry Bippy Sr. 18, Ron King had 27 for Florida State. 1973, UCLA 87, Memphis State 66, Larry Finch 29 for the 901, but Bill Walton had 44 that night, missed only one shot. And then finally, John Wooden's finally national championship. 1975, UCLA 92, Kentucky 85. Dave Myers 28, Richard Washington 
excuse me, Richard Washington, 28, Dave Myers, 24, Kevin Grevy had 34 that night for the Kentucky Wildcats. See, it's something that goes very simple about Vincent Turner, myself here on 100 Yards of Football. I just state the facts. And the facts are this young man, John Wooden, was the greatest coach on any level. Football, basketball, baseball, the collegiate level. I'm sorry. 10 national championships in 12 years. 88 game winning streak. He had four perfect seasons of 30 and 0. The first person as a player in the coast to be voted into the College Basketball Hall of Fame. So, and this is the this is the one key fact that when I was looking up this great coach at UCLA, he went to the NCAA tournament 38 straight times. And he did it in Hollywood, baby, L.A. And to the UCLA basketball nation, I envy all those fans and the alumni because y'all got something special. That's something to be proud of to the day you die. So my final words to John Wooden. You know, the Rolling Stones were here a couple of weeks ago here in Atlanta. And they had a song that was out, I can't get no satisfaction. I can't get no satisfaction because I try and I try and I try. John Wood got all the satisfaction he needed within 10 national championships in 12 years. So my final words, as that was my final word, but my next word. So the UCLA basketball nation. Man, y'all special. If you like the video today, please come in and share. I'm your host, Vincent Turner. And to my producer, Mr. Logan Landis, thank you for this morning. This is the greatest coach ever, the coach college basketball, John Wood. So to all you people out there on ESPN and all you college basketball savants, stop trying to make Tom Izzo, Mike Krzyzewski, Adolph Ruff, stop trying to make them as the greatest college basketball coach. It's this man right here, John Wooden. Be blessed.